for those that don't know, this is Lizzie Musi. I talk a lot about Lizzie Musi over here because Lizzie is an inspiration to a lot of women out there. Now, if you don't know who she is or never heard of her, allow me to introduce her to you. Lizzie Musi is a staple in street racing. In the racing game, her daddy, Pat Musi, has been involved with racing, so she comes from a long line of racers, if you get what I'm saying. She races, she's a bad mama jamma. And I started following Lizzie because Donnie, my man, he watches Street Outlaws, and she is a star on the show Street Outlaws. Now, on that show, you will see that she had a fiance which he proposed on the show Kai he is also a fellow racer now what stood out to me was a few months ago at the beginning of the year Lizzie posted that she had stage 4 breast cancer she started going through treatments it was a fast situation like it was fast she announced it she immediately was going into treatments doing all the things Keep in mind, she was racing and doing all the things while she's doing treatments and all that. So she would post a little bit of her journey on social media and on YouTube. And I picked up on a lot, specifically from her fiancé at the time. I noticed how he would make the most insensitive comments. And my mouth would drop at the things he would say. Like, timing is everything. You can go back and listen and watch how this dude acts and how he treated her. It was just, it wasn't good. Like, when she announced, right here, I have stage 4 breast cancer, my toughest race yet. You see that video at 1.1 million views. In that video, she was talking about she'd probably lose her hair and all this. So, he grabs her hair. I guess he's trying to make it in a playful way. He grabs her hair and he's like, yeah, we don't know how long she'll have this pretty hair anymore. Just any and every moment, any opportunity he had to be insensitive, he would take that and just run with it. That's what I've seen. I also noticed that when she started her treatments, he was very rarely there. Very rarely there. Now, that is a serious situation at hand. Very serious. She had to, within a month or two, shave her head because she was losing hair because of the treatments that he wasn't present at. So that told me, right, I was like, Lord have mercy. I hope she drops this sack of work right here. And guess what? Guess what? We started seeing that that boy, Kai, was M-I-A. And I was like, praise Jesus. Then I started noticing, like, she would post... You know, with her friends and going out to concerts and posting, you know, with her girls. And then she moved back to North Carolina because she was recently living with Kai. Oh, it was a whole thing. It was a whole situation. Now, they never made it public that they split. So, I'm pretty sure that announcement is coming. I don't know, though, because, y'all, to me, this right here... This next surprise that she posted, I was all the way surprised. But this was a very happy surprise. And I'm happy for her. She started posting things like this. Things that are, by the way, highly relatable to me. Yes, ma'am. Y'all better come on over there to our vlog channel, Southern Adventures. Y'all want to see some catfish like this? We'll show you. Look at Lizzie over there doing things that she's never done. Having the time of her life. While she's going through stage 4 breast cancer. But I'm going to tell you what I noticed. There is a man by her side. Oh yes, she's been doing all kind of things. Living life, just smiling, having the best of times. Bragging about it, posting about it. And baby, we're here for it. Do you know who she is spotted with? Do you know who she's been with? Dale Earnhardt's grandson. Yes, 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 yes. Apparently, Jeremy Earnhardt, look at here. Apparently, he's in with the NASCAR series. 
Uh-huh. Just like his papa, just like Granddaddy Dale. Raise hell, praise Dale. If you don't know, I'm going to go ahead and tell you. I come from a family of die-hard Dale Earnhardt fans. When I was growing up, my daddy and my mama would go to all the NASCAR races. They raise hell, praise Dale, child. We had Dale Earnhardt's tire with his signature on it in the bedroom by me, okay? I mean, they had a whole tire with his signature on They had cardboard cutouts of Dale. My daddy had every single car that Dale drove from the Wrangler car. I'm talking diehard Earnhardt fans. Do you hear me right now? When I saw this right here, I was like, girl, yes. Yes, because this is perfect to me. Lizzie needs somebody who is supportive. She needs somebody who she can have fun with and relate to. This right here is a perfect match to me. Let me tell you why. They're both into racing. Their families are very highly into racing. They come from a long line of racers. It's in their blood, okay? Both of them know what it's like to be highly photographed and highly followed both of them know what it's like to be on tv because they both are both of them love racing child i'm here for it to me these two are the perfect match perfect i think she is the sweetest i mean just the sweetest soul i hope she gives more updates like she has been on her cancer journey and i think it's a huge inspiration Huge inspiration. Lizzie is a very young woman, and she is going through stage four breast cancer right now. She's going through treatments, and she's a fighter. She should be someone that we all should look up to. And we also need to look at this as raising awareness for breast cancer. If you feel something, ladies, we always need to do a check. Self-checks are very important. My mother talks a lot about the self-checks because my mama is a breast cancer survivor and a self-check is how she found a lump she went to the nurse she used to work in a factory shout out to my mama that's the best woman i know i'm gonna go ahead and tell you right now she went to the nurse at her work and the nurse said it was nothing well my mama knew it was something so she went to the doctor and said it was cancer so she had a lump took out of her breast and she went through treatment and it was bad for her like she it was bad it was bad and i regret not being there more and not being more supportive i was so young and buck wild i regret if look if you ask me do I have any regrets? That's the one regret I have is not being there more for my mama during that time she needed me. Like, it hurts, you know? I can't go back and change that. One thing I am thankful for is that she's a breast cancer survivor. But I do want to make it a point to, you know, let everybody know, just self-check. And also, if you know somebody going through something serious as this, be there for them. Be there for them. Lift them up. Motivate them. Inspire them. Please. Be there for them. Always feel. If you feel something that don't feel right, bring it up to a doctor. Bring it up. Because you never know. You never know. I'm so happy that Lizzie not only has her family to support her and be by her side during her treatments, but I'm happy she has, you know, a, another distraction. I don't want to call like a relationship a distraction, but you get what I'm saying. She's got something else on her mind other than cancer and the treatment. Like it's something happy, I think. And I hope we see more of this. These two right here, yes, ma'ams. Yes, ma'ams. Dale Earnhardt's grandson, are you serious right now? Look, I said, are y'all listening? I know this is so bad of me, but I said, I bet Kai Kelly is eating shit right now. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Jeremy Earnhardt gonna show him.
what a man is. Okay, you stand by your woman. And I'm glad she's seen that before, you know, her and Kai got married. The dude couldn't even take off work to go be with her during a treatment. A lot of people were saying, well, he works. Yeah, she does too. I mean, there's no excuse for somebody not being there. That's why I say be there for people. Be there. Look at Lizzie as an inspiration and a warrior. This girl right here is a warrior princess, okay? We love you, Lizzie. We are rooting for you all the way to the finish line, baby. Like and share this video. Y'all smash that subscribe button because I got more coming up about this hot couple right here. I love you for watching. I will see y'all in my next video.